the month of September has started and even though we have just three months till 2019 ends, we have a hell lot of game coming up this fall. Welcome, I am Gavin Manus and let's just deep dive into the top three gaming news of this week. Resident Evil has a new game coming up and from the looks of it, it is a co-op game. At least that's what the screenshot says. The screenshots were leaked via Twitter and Reddit and it showed a group of four people which supposedly looks like playable characters getting ready for some co-op actions against zombies. Co-op has suited Resident Evil games well in the past with the two-player revelation spin-off and Outbreak which this game could be even a sequel to. And there's a lot of fans to these games, so maybe Resident Evil is listening to these fans. Capcom has been teasing the game which is currently known as Project Resistance according to their teaser page and we will be getting our first peek at the game on September 9th in their official Resident Evil YouTube channel. Capcom will also be showing the gameplay footage of this game in the Tokyo Game Show on September 12th. Whether this will be in Resident Evil 8? or a Resident Evil spin-off or maybe an Outbreak sequel, well only time will tell. This game will be available on PS4, Xbox and PC when it is announced after the trailer drops. Borderlands 2 is coming to VR on PC! Wait, wait, what? There has been a trailer launch for Borderlands 2 coming to VR in PC and it will be releasing this fall. The PS4 version is getting a free DLC update which hopefully would be the same when it releases in the PC. This version of Borderlands 2 will apparently come with new skills to virtually pay the bills including a slow motion ability called BAMF or Badass Mega Fun Time. Multiplayer doesn't get mentioned so this might be a single player only deal as it is on PS4. While Borderlands 3 is coming this September, having a VR game of Borderlands 2 won't do much harm and I think I won't be playing it anyway because I don't have that system to play the goddamn VR games. I need to upgrade my PC even better now. On to a sad news. The co-founder of Night in the Woods studio Infinite Fall and the programmer, designer and composer of the game itself, Alec Holokwa, has sadly died. Holokwa's death was announced by her sister via Twitter who has now since blocked her account after the announcement was done. She did not specify the cause of the death but has been alluded to suicide, saying that Holokwa has recently been supported by crisis services. Holokwa has been battling mood and personality disorders throughout his life, said his sister. She also made reference to recent allegation of past emotional and physical abuse by Holokwa in her statement. This is definitely a sad news not only because the game was really good but also he was battling with issues like depression and suicidal thoughts. Issues like this should not be kept on your own, it should be shared along with your friends or maybe someone who you love the most so that you don't feel alone in this world and it is very important to give help to your friend who is having this kind of issues because it's also your responsibility to make them feel good at times like these. To take care of yourself and be strong. Well that was all this week of gaming news had in store. Let me know in the comments below which game are you excited about the most? Is it the announcement of Resident Evil new game or is it Borderlands 3? Make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe and enable that notification bell icon because everything about gaming is coming right here. We got an amazing community of Gamer Connect present in Facebook right now which you can join by clicking the link in the description below and enjoy gaming in general.